Okay, major work on the bike. Um, got an oil leak. It's either my upper head gasket or my oil line when I cut off my headers to um, wrap them. I may have hit it with a sawzall. I don't know. The previous owner may have punctured the line and um, I degreased it and whatever was used to seal it was taken off or removed. Um, whatever the case, I have new oil lines and um, the valves, I've got one set of upper cylinders off a of running bike and I don't think I can do the front so what I'm gonna do is probably maybe remove the rear upper cylinder drop in the drop in the new ones and then let the shop adjust the front ones only carbs are totally out of sync uh, new vacuum lines coming in if you go to advanced auto parts uh, excuse me AutoZone if you see that vacuum right there on the uh, on the uh, vacuum ports, the carbs have been removed. That's where you sink them. Um, I have a compression leak somewhere, and it may be because of that right there. It's on this one. I believe that's a number three cylinder. I don't know if it's a compression or vacuum leak, but if you look at that little tiny clamp, it's not a push clamp, it's a pull clamp, which makes it extremely difficult. So I've got new 532 the hose size is 532 so those are 532 push clamps they're very pricey they're about I think maybe six or seven dollars for a bag of them well worth it because it's a vacuum leak I'm gonna have to sink these um, I've cleaned out the carbs I've got E spark plugs which are kinda like the Spitfires you don't gap them. I need to rewire some custom custom uh, spark plug wires. I've got the caps. The caps measured out the ohms. The ohms are good on there. The wires are not measuring out. And I want to get it down to about 12 ohms for the whole spark plug and cap. Um, while sinking my valves, I burnt out my starter relay because I had to get going to work and I put a 12 volt car battery on here while I was sinking the valves just to get it started and running so I could go to work. And in the process I revved it high while I was doing a measurement and it began to overload the starter relay, melted it, and by the time I got home the starter relay was melted. Well, not knowing this, I went to the store and had to get towed because I was running on battery strength. So, the hot wire or the yellow wire going into my starter relay um, got messed up. And what I did was I wired it in a manner so that I could switch out the starter relays very simple you see that quick connects on here just plop in a new starter relay quick connect this thing right out this is a mighty max battery so if I unplug these four right here I can just drop a new starter relay I bought two of them with a harness and a couple spare harnesses because it melted everything um, new brake lines, crush washers, I'm going to let the valve replace my oil lines, so I'll get the oil lines replaced, um, the oil lines, the upper heads, I have one upper head, and I bought a new set of handlebars, I have a new set of handlebars coming. Um, what else do I have coming? That bike right there is going into the shop. Once the I, 
once the carbs, once the choke cable, the carbs, and the new handlebars are put on there, somebody wrecked that bike and I bought it. It's been a nightmare. I got it started, but it won't shift in the gear. So I've got new clutch plates, new clutch, and new springs on it. If that doesn't get it to shift, it's going in the shop and I'm getting new transmission on there. Um, I've already priced out the transmission but that's gonna have to be done um, new brake pads on there uh, carbon carbon composite carbon graphic composite let's see what else we're talking about yeah those are new brake pads right there it, it doesn't have the power that the EBC does I went ahead and rewired my neutral switch and put this coil around it along with all of my spark plug wires it has the coil everything in my starter relay area has coil on it I got this coil off a uh, computer a burnt out computer power supply and it works better than those coils because these coils melt that sucker does not melt and if it catches fire it doesn't uh, it's flame retardant so the coil melts this doesn't I feel a lot better with these I gotta readjust my float needles I equalize my float needles because I'm having problems sinking my valves I have compression or vacuum leak in number three cylinder number four cylinder I didn't clean last time I can only th clean three cylinders at a time um, I got a new, I'm getting a new triple hit, the triple tree upper and lower is getting replaced. I got new this, new that, polished up. I got new handlebars coming, which are black and gold. This one is so polished that it looks brand new. I have it inside, I did it last night. Carbs need to be synced and the valves need to be adjusted. I may just send it into the shop right like this and then start working on that but I gotta get this done um, other than that it's working good got a 42 teeth for a little bit extra miles on the gas uh, I've got a 44 in there right now so it's a running a little bit high that may have caused the the compression or the oil problem I don't know I gotta go through and check all this stuff uh, the oil leak has has really destroyed my pipes and all the paint work that I did on my my rear shock and my pipes those pipes were nicely painted but with the oil leak it's all over um, it's not that bad but you know still it doesn't look like a perfect 10 I want it to look a perfect 10. Um, the carburetors. I have a set of 94's. They do fit on a 92. However, I have to change out the choke and the throttle cable. I have a new choke and a throttle cable I'm going to install. Um, so I'm doing the brake lines now to prime when I start it to prime it I'm gonna take out the here is the fuel relay I'm gonna pull this down I'm gonna jump the black and the blue so I'm gonna put a jumper cable between the black and the blue turn the ignition and you'll hear the fuel pump go click 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 it's gonna pressurize the fuel line it's gonna inject it into the bowls and the minute you pull the, the choke and hit the ignition uh, it should fire up um, if there is carburetor cleaner or chemicals in the combustion chamber you want to spit it out so you want to keep on cranking it even though you're priming it so kick it out and then and then uh, turn the ignition on and it should fire up on the first or second it's a little retarded when you do because it gets on the plugs um, and the oil sticks on the plugs other than the starter relay I've got a couple coming but this is how you make it really quick 
to change them out, unplug these four, take the whole unit out, put in the new unit, and plug in the four wires there. Um, so the valves, I'm sinking it right now, and then it's got to go in for the valves. Um, probably the first time the valves are going to be adjusted since uh, 60,000. So I may do the rear one myself. I may just put it in the shop. I have a rear, a, a set of uh, upper, up, uh, the, I have a set of upper heads, the, the uppers, upper cylinder. That's about it. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this and then finish up that bike. I should have two identical bikes. Uh, that one may get a new transmission. We'll see after the new clutch goes on there and I start it up. All right.